And we welcome you back to Conference USA kickoff presented by Ryan. Now we turn our attention to the Golden Eagles of Southern Miss and joining us, first year head coach, Will Hall. Will, first of all, welcome to Conference USA. Well, thanks so much, guys. I'm, I'm excited to be in this conference, excited to be back at Southern Miss in a, in a state that I grew up in, in Mississippi, at a place with such a rich and storied tradition. We're excited about being here and excited about building this thing back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, absolutely. Coach, it was a strange year for everybody, but none more than Southern Miss last year. Losing their coach after the first game, you had players opting out. Everybody was looking for stability in the program. You get hired. When you had that first meeting with the players who had just been through all of this, what did you say to them? Yeah, the big thing I wanted to sell them on was who I was, where I come from, what my values are. And uh, I've been a head coach before. We were able to turn programs around quickly. And I wanted those young men to know that we wanted them all to stay and wanted them to be here. They chose Southern Miss for a reason. And those reasons are still intact for the most part. And I want them to give us a chance because I'm a guy that wakes up every day determined not to let people down. And that's what we told these young men is give us a chance, see the way we're going to treat you, and uh, I think you're going to really like it and really respect it. And together we can build this thing back. And uh, it's been great. It's been great putting in our culture. You know, these young men will work. You know, young men from Mississippi and lower Alabama, southeast Louisiana, and the Panhandle, which is the predominant makeup of our roster, those kids love football and they want to work. And uh, it, it's been a really, really fun eight months. And uh, we're looking forward to building on it every day. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing that. Let's talk about your offense. It's going to be a pro type uh, offense, a lot of different elements, including up tempo. How would you describe your offense and what will be the strength? Yeah, multiple personnel groupings, uh, power spread that plays with tempo. That's who we are. Uh, we use tight ends. We use multiple tight ends. We'll use them in the box and out of the box to create diversity. And uh, we want to find a way to establish the run. That's something we've always been able to do. I believe you have to do that to put a ring on your finger, no matter what the level is. That's been proven over the course of time. And off of that, we want to, uh, to, to create explosive plays in the passing game. And uh, so that's what we've been implementing here. Uh, we certainly want to build it around our personnel that we have. And that starts at the quarterback position and that filters through our skilled players and our O-line. Well, let's talk about running the football because Frank Gore Jr., we just saw him catch a pass as we look at some of the numbers from last year. He lived up to his name last year, an outstanding freshman year. You look at Frank Gore Jr. plus the offensive line coming back, your run game should be in pretty good shape. Yeah, we really like Frank. You know, Frank's a young man that's explosive. Uh, he makes the first person miss almost all the time. He's really driven. Uh, he likes the nuances of football from pass pro to the, to the passing game. He's not just a guy that just likes to do the run game part. He really enjoys studying the game, so it's been fun to coach him. He's worked extremely hard this offseason. Uh, he's packed on a lot of lean muscle mass. He weighs a little bit more without losing any explosiveness. So we think he's got a chance to have a really big year, Lord willing, and he stays healthy. Uh, offensive line-wise, we've got some guys returning that have got a chance to be special. Arvin Fletcher who's a senior for us that started all over the line and been a team leader here forever and ever. We've moved him to center to really solidify that thing from the inside out. He had a great spring at center and it's had a really good summer leading. And Kalik Washington at right tackle is a young man that's really blossomed and come on uh, through spring ball and through the summer. We think he's got a chance to have a bright, bright future as well. Now let's go to the other side of the football on the defense because Southern Miss had 10 different starting lineups in 10 games last year looking for a little stability on that. The good news is you got a lot of players with experience coming back. Yeah, we do. We've got a lot of young men that have played a lot of minutes in college football, which is an advantage. Uh, but look, you know, we've made no bones about it since we got here. When you think Southern Miss football, you think nasty bunch, you think run into the football, swarm into the football and playing great, great physical defense. And we've got to get back to that. Our D coordinator, Coach Austin Armstrong, has really embraced that nasty bunch moniker. We want to build, bring it back. And uh, that starts, you know, by, by 
practicing that way, working that way every day. And we feel good about where we're headed. Uh, some of those young men that are coming back that have played really well, one is Santrell Latham at linebacker. Uh, Santrell's a young man that's played a lot of great football, coaching against this defense the last two years like I have. Really felt like Santrell was one of the best linebackers I had to coach against. He's also put on a lot of lean muscle mass with Coach Ancar in our weight program and is really, really taking a step forward. We think he's got a chance to have a great year. We talked about the experience coming back, and when you really break down the numbers, of the 22 players that played at least 50 snaps last year, you've got every one of those coming back on defense except one. That allows you maybe to do a little bit more, even though it's a new scheme for them probably, but you have players that have been in battle before. Yeah, you know, there's something to be said for people that have played college football. And that goes with success and failure, right? Because part of growing up in life and becoming a real man and an adult is learning how to handle failure as well as success. So we've got guys that have been in the fire, if you will. And uh, it is a new scheme. It's a totally different scheme defensively. And, uh, you know, our young men have taken to that. They're learning it. We had a great spring. We've had a great summer. But uh, having guys that have actually been in the fire and played, I do think is, a, is advantageous for us moving forward. Well, moving forward, we'll take a look at your schedule because it's favorable early on. Of course, you do have to play Alabama. But when you look at the schedule, two of your first three games are at home before you have to go and play the Crimson Tide. Do you like your schedule, Coach, or is it just one of those things that is what it is? Yeah, we like our schedule. I, I tip my hat to Jeremy McLean, our athletic director, who's done a phenomenal job. You know, we play Alabama, who's the number one program in the United States of America over the last several years. They've done, you know, you could argue they've had the greatest run in college football history. So we got great respect for that. And then off of that, you've got two regional uh you know, what could be said rivalries from the Sunbelt Conference with Troy, as well as starting the year with South Alabama. So those are two great games for our fan bases, their fan bases, uh, with regional rivalries in the group of five level. And then we've also got Grambling coming to town, game two, which is a great FCS program. We've got a ton of respect for their history and tradition and all the games that they've won in their past. So I think when you look at it geographically, uh, you know, from the group of five games, FCS games we've got, it's great for our fan base and building this brand back. And then also, you know, our Power Five matchup, playing Alabama on the top program in the country. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's we're, we're excited about our schedule. Well, Coach, we welcome you again to Conference USA. And talking to your players, they say you speak from the heart. And I think we heard that so far today. But thank you for being with us, Coach. Wish you the best of luck. Oh, thank you guys so much. And that's all I know to speak from the heart. And, uh, we're excited about what we've done in the past here at Southern Miss, and we can't wait to forge forward in the future and get this program back. We appreciate y'all. Southern Miss has always been known for offense and their run game, and this year will be no different. New scheme, but some of the players are the same, including offensive lineman Arvin Fletcher, the Richard senior out of Madison, Mississippi, one of the most versatile players on the Southern Miss roster, and he joins us right now. Arvin, thanks for being with us today. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Now, you have been a starter since your Redford, your Redford freshman year. How have you changed as a player? As a player, I feel like I've become more confident. You know, I feel like I'm able to switch positions at the drop of a hat, you know, do whatever the team needs me to do. Well, I talked about you being versatile. You have 47 starts at four different positions. I don't think they keep a record book on that in Conference USA, but that would probably be a record. How tough has it been from going from right side, left side, guard to tackle for you? It hadn't been real tough, you know. The coaches do a good job making sure in practice, you know, that if there is a possibility that I might change positions in a game or something might happen that week that I have a full understanding of what's going to happen in the game. So I, I, I get pretty, I get a good amount of reps at different positions during the week. As mentioned, you're a, red, you're a redshirt senior and you've been through a lot in your career, but last year was probably one of the most chaotic I think all of us have seen, not just because of COVID, but you have a coach that leaves after the first game. You had a number of players that have opted out and it was a tough year of instability last year. How did you stay above all that and not get in some type of funk? Yeah, but last year and COVID and, you know, the team having a lot of adversities, it just 
just keep your head down and working. Just try to make sure you brought brought it every day for the guys that stayed, the guys that decided to finish the season out. So, I mean, for me, it wasn't it wasn't a hard decision to stay. I just keep working. I just made sure I did it for my teammates. So you have a new coach in Will Hall, and here's a guy that speaks from the heart and is really excited about coaching you up this season. Your thoughts on coach? Yeah, day one when we met Coach Hall, the first thing we noticed was he was just a a big ball of energy. He told us how excited he was to be able to be our coach and how he was going to take care of us and we were going to be a big family. You know, he sat down with a lot of the guys that was that had the extra year due to COVID. A lot of the seniors he asked us just for a chance in spring, just for him to show us what he can do, what he was all about. And he told us at the end of the day, if he didn't like it, you could leave. But he promised that most of us are probably going to like it. Well, I uh, know one thing that you and the rest of the team like, that's your new uniforms. When they were debuted, I think everybody got pretty doggone excited about the new uniforms you're going to be wearing in games this year. What did you think of the new togs? Yeah, I like the new uniforms. A fresh look, you know. I, we never, since I've been here, we hadn't worn anything but a black helmet. So to be able to have a different color helmet, so many combinations, just not just black and white, or maybe just gold and black. You know, be able to have some different combinations, that's, that's going to be fun. Well, Arvin, I'll tell you what, I like coming to Southern Miss, and everybody knows why, because you got the best places to eat. If I get to Southern Miss during the football season, I want to go to Letha's Barbecue with you and watch if I could throw down more food than you do there. Is that a deal? That's a deal. I don't, I don't know if you're going to beat me, but that's a deal. <laughs> hey, I'll die trying, though, you know? Hey, Arvin, I appreciate, <laughs> yes, I, I appreciate you spending time with us. Best of luck this year and stay healthy. Yes, sir. Thank you. We heard Coach Will Hall just a few moments ago talk about the defense, how he wanted to get back to playing Southern Miss style defense, and we're seeing it right there. One player that he will be able to rely on, linebacker Santrell Latham, the redshirt junior out of Meridian, Mississippi, led the team in sacks in 2020 with four, and he joins us now. Santrell, good to have you with us today. Good to have you. Thank you. How tough was it last year for you? And, and Coach and I were talking about this. Ten different starting lineups in ten games. You have a coach that leaves after the first game. Players opting out because of COVID. How tough was that, not just as a football player, but as a person last year? Uh, it was it was pretty tough. But when you think about it, when stuff when it's a lot of adversity going wrong, you just you put your head down and you, you just keep working. You can't you can't you control what you control. You know. You have a new defensive coordinator, obviously a new head coach, which everybody likes. I like his enthusiasm. But as far as the defense, what kind of defense are you going to be playing this year and how different will it be from last year's team? It's going to be it's, it's going to be different. We're playing, we're playing a lot of we're playing a lot of different schemes. I, I personally like it. I personally like what coach is putting in. We're putting in like different stuff every day and we're working on it. Are you going to have a little more freedom in the defense because last year you had a career high four sacks also six and a half tackles for the loss your first career interception do you have a little more freedom maybe in this new scheme oh yeah more freedom to roam you know motion when in motion i'm going to be roaming you know i'll be in the box outside the box wherever the coach needs me to be and of course this team has the new head coach as we mentioned what were your first impressions of Coach Hall when he got up and talked to your team after what you went through last year? What did you think of him? Uh, I thought he was a good guy. I thought Coach Hall was a good guy. When, when Coach Hall walked in the room, everybody jumps up excited. We love Coach Hall. Ever since he's been here, he's brought a different vibe, energy. I love it. And before I let you go, uh, we already talked, obviously, about the new uniforms, but I'm going to ask you, do you like the new uniforms you're going to be wearing this year? Oh yeah, it's different, especially the white helmets. That's a, that's gonna be something neat to wear, considering we only wear black. The whole time I've been here, just kind of something new to look forward to this season. And playing Alabama, what's it going to be like to go to Tuscaloosa and have to play one of the greatest programs in the history of college football? What would it be like for you? It's gonna be a challenge, and I'm up for it. So, oh, it's gonna. It's going, going to be, be a, it's going to be a fun game. We thank you for being yes. part of our show today, and we wish you and Southern Miss the best of luck this season. All right. Thank you, too. All right. Thank coming you. up on the other side of the break, we'll talk to Dana Dimmel. 
and we'll talk a little UTEP minor football.